Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video. Do you know I don't I mean? believe in girl code. Do you not? Oh. Why not? <laughs> it's just like I'm not gonna not talk to someone because you spoke to them. Really? Yeah. So what if like it, like in the scenario that I just Obviously gave you? That's that, different because okay. you're actively talking to okay. them. I'm talking about like past. Like situations. an ex. Okay. That like, I will date my friend's ex. Would you ask for permission? Uh it depends. It depends. You date your friend's ex? Mm -hmm. I've done it before. Girl! Do it really? Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. And I, I've told a lot of my girls that I'll do it, so they know my standpoint wow. on it. Yeah. That's so, so interesting. I don't believe in that. I just, I think it's silly. I don't think I can do that. To me, it's a bit weird. It feels like you feel like you can't find your own person. So what, you're waiting for your turn? Yeah. You Are you done with that? Can you pass it on over to me? Like, do you know what I mean? It feels a bit weird to me. I know a lot of people say, don't let your friend stop you from finding your husband. And what if they are soulmates? And what if they are just compatible? That could also be the case. And if that's the case... And I see it from like in the beginning of the, I will be the one to tell you to go be with him. Okay. Because why would I stop you from finding the love of your life? Okay. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. Would you do it? Would you not do it? Uh, have you done it? Did you end up with your, of your friend's, um, um, ex? Are you married to your friend's ex in a relationship with your friend's ex and so on and so forth? Let me know your thought about all of this. I'm going to come back and talk a little bit more, but let's get into the opinions of other people, um, uh, first. Okay. That I would date my friend's ex. Would you ask for permission? Uh, it depends. And this is why I keep telling you guys, you need to be careful about who you're calling a friend. In this clip, this girl's basically talking about if it's an ex, it's fair game, if you're not actively dating the person. And she tells her friends that too, she says. Now, if a friend told me that, like I would already know that I need to cut ties with that person. But a lot of you guys have friends that you see do very shady things to other people and you're still friends with them because they haven't done it to you yet. All you need to know is that that person's morals and values don't align with yours in order for you to step aside and decide not to be too close with somebody like that. If my friend dated somebody in high school, I wouldn't be dating them today. And I mean, some people are saying, oh, don't let your friend block you from finding your husband. But honestly, to me, that's just scarcity mindset. There are more than enough people in the world. Yeah, I gotta listen to this one. A girl code thing that's different to like guys. I don't yeah. believe in girl code. Do you my friends exes are off limits. And if any of my friends date my exes, we are not friends. That mean the whole time I was with this man, you was hoping and praying for my downfall. That's why you got to watch who you tell your business to. Because some of these people are not loyal to you. They are fake and shake like they your real friend when the whole time they want your life. They want exactly what you got. And they'll throw their whole goddamn friendship away just to get that shit. I feel like I have a very unpopular opinion about girl code and it is that I am okay with my friends dating my ex-boyfriends. Obviously not like right after we break up because that's a little suspicious, but if the breakup is amicable and if I'm like over him, then I don't see why my friends can't shoot their shot. <laughs> if they want to follow him on social media or even have his number, like... I really don't care. I feel like I would trust my friends enough not to do anything inappropriate with that information. But also my mindset is that if a girl can like steal my man away from me, then let her have him. Like, why would I want to be with someone like that? I feel like a lot of girls basically try to like prevent their man from being in any situation that allows them to cheat. But if he's going to cheat anyway, then you like trying to prevent him from talking to someone or hanging out with someone is not gonna you know stop him obviously though if my friends are not okay with me dating their ex-boyfriends i am not gonna do that to them it just like baffles my mind though that there are girls who do not allow their friends to also be friends with their boyfriends because literally my bestie and her boyfriend and i we all hang out together also she has told us to hang out together like without her before one time we spent thanksgiving together at her family's place because she was studying abroad and she couldn't join us obviously but she was like go hang out together at my family's place and have thanksgiving dinner and this opinion seems like almost controversial to share because i have never seen anyone else think like the way i do about it i don't know yeah exactly what i was talking about y'all would see red flags with these girls and still hang out with them she just said she's not gonna not talk to her man because her friend used to fuck with him 
and y'all would know that about a bitch and still hang out with her like what but you know what i respect about her she letting it be known like oh this is how i am so now it's you who needs to decide is that gonna be a bitch i'm gonna hang around with that be the problem y'all would know things about girls or see girls do things to other bitches and y'all still want to hang out with them and be like oh my god she's she did this to me i can't believe it bitch she did it to other bitches too that's the type of person she is like you're not exempt this is exactly what i was talking about you have to evaluate things like that like girls will tell you shit or do things and y'all will ignore them y'all have to stop ignoring them or even if you didn't know before and you see the first red flag, the same way we be trying to do with these niggas, you got to do to the girls too. Our so-called friends. Bitches giving red flags, they got to be out of there too. Like, y'all got to understand relationships. The same thing that you would want in a intimate relationship, you have to ask in platonic relationships too. Like, if I want loyalty and honesty in my intimate relationships, I want that with all my relationships. It's not... Y'all could, my friends could shit on me, but my, my nigga can't. No, it's going to be all across the board. So guys, let's talk. So I saw, I've been seeing around you, yeah, like people that talk to their friend's ex. What do you think about that? Because I just think it doesn't even matter if it was like an ex from like college. If I know that my friend, especially if like they're my close friend, has like done a thing with, I just couldn't do it. It's weird. It's giving like, did you like them before? Nah, I think it's weird. We Personally, I could never, 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 never date like one of my friend's exes. I just think it's weird. And I just, I don't know. It's like behind my back. Are you thinking certain things about my man? Now, years later, you're like, oh, now it's my turn. I remember when my friend dated my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> it's like the weirdest fucking thing. <laughs> I have so many stories. <laughs> Cause baby, bitches be wild. I honestly feel like women like this though, I feel like they have some type of insecurity issue. Like I feel like they want love so bad that they don't care like who they hurt to get it. Like, I don't know. That's just my take on it. Should you date your friend's ex? Let's talk about it. Okay, I get it. You know, you think your friend's ex is cute or whatever. You don't want to hurt your friend. I, I understand your thought process. Do you understand how important friendships are? Like, I'm sorry, but to risk your friendship? Please, what are the odds that your friend's ex is your soulmate? Probably zero. And there's a reason they broke up. You want to put yourself through that? Girl, always prioritize your friendships, okay? They will be there for you when guys hurt your feelings. I promise you, your soulmate is probably not someone your friend already dated. You will be okay not dating them. Yeah, I I will value my friendships over a lot of things. <laughs> because, like, having that kind of a sisterhood type of friendship, I don't know. I will be loyal to my friends to the nonsense degree because like the other ladies are saying it means a lot if you ended up with your friend's ex like were you checking for him the whole of the relationship you knew everything the ins and outs of their relationship okay she's telling you everything that is going on how she's been treated and so on and so forth and then you end up in a relationship with him hmm a bit weird or dating him whatever the situation is it, it also feels like uh, you have low self-esteem you don't love yourself so much and you are in a secret competition with your friend like who is going to be the better girlfriend or who who is he going to pick or am i better than her there's something inside that needs healing but if it's on the grounds like i said before of you guys being like compatible or you guys being just bread and butter made in heaven much made in heaven i go for it um, i think a few weeks ago i watched this video with lindsay lohan who was helping this guy write a book or helped this guy write a book and she had feelings for the guy but the guy didn't have feelings for her so the guy ended up um dating her friend and Lindsay felt some type of way about it because the friend knew how she felt about the guy um, long story short Lindsay ended up getting a wish or something like that and he, she ended up in a relationship with a guy only to realize that that guy was not meant for her so she had to let him 
go to her friend if you know what i mean so yeah sometimes things like this do happen to people where you may meet someone you guys think you are compatible but you're not but if it's something within you that like feels the need to be like secretly competing with other women even to the point of you know wanting their exes then you have a problem okay but anyway let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again with another video take care of yourselves and bye bye